guys, this is Ish, it is is Tactical Solutions, and today we're going to do a review on FLIR's PTS-233. Alright, so most of all thermals that I have, even though they can be used for a tactical application, this are correct, it, I use for hunting or hog hunting anyways, predator hunting. This one right here has a tactical application because of how small it is. Now you can't get an external battery for it, but it only takes two. CR123s and it'll last about three hours. Uh, Runtime solid. It does have a real nice standby and on. It's got one of the best switches that I've seen on on. You just do that right there. It does take it a second to fire up, but I just turned it on right now. It is now on. So yeah, it's about three to four seconds and it's on. Or you can put it on standby where it doesn't use up the battery as often. All right. And all you gotta do is press a button and it turns on within a second. I'm gonna turn it off because those CR123s aren't cheap. All right, now this has a lot of capabilities. One of the things that I have to talk about when it comes to this scope, this, they call it a beginner scope. I don't like calling it a beginner scope because calling it a beginner scope is making it out like we're all rich enough to buy tons of thermals, all right? so. These, this is an affordable thermal, all right? They're selling for around $2,200. This is a 320, I don't even think it's a 384 by 280. And I can say this, yeah, I'm gonna call it the lower end scopes. Period, period, this is the best lower end scope. I know there's people out there that do not like FLIR and I understand why and we won't talk about it, but this right here is the best low end scope out there. And the reason is, is because it's got that 12 ion, whatever core that they put, the best core basically, it's close to Envision and Trigicon's core, all right? And this is a 60 hertz, not a 30, so you never fall, fall below that 320 by 280. And because of the core that it has in it, instead of being negative 5.51 or whatever they call them, like the old ATN, Thor that I was using, I mean, my goodness, everything seemed like it was a mile away. Because of the core, this is at 320 by 280 at 1.5, and it still has a good 1.5 uh, zoom, and it has a good field of view. Another plus about this, now it does all the functions that you wanted to. It does record as well. You can zoom up, and you can do many, many things with it, all right? But the thing I like about it is almost all thermals have two good palettes, black hot and white hot. I love, now because I have the FLIR Breach, I already knew this and it does the same thing, but it has the outdoors alert. So there's actually three good palettes that you can use. It has one palette that the rest of them do. I put this on my 338 Spectra because basically I had an Envision on it. 338 Spectra is an awesome bullet, but it doesn't go that far. I thought, man, you know, I just want something light run around in the woods, all right? It's already suppressed, so it makes it, the Envision made it heavy. I don't want, even though they make an external TNVC, I think it is, or whatever makes an external battery for it, Flare probably does too. I don't want it, I don't want the weight, okay? I, uh, this is just to, to walk out there, and like I said, it actually has a tactical application because I can use it like a regular gun or regular scope without all the bull, crazy cords and everything that usually have to deal with when it comes to thermals. I don't have to, it's got a quick disconnect right here. Easy to take off, you can put it on any gun that you want. I'm gonna show you a video. You're, it's, it's absolutely crazy, all right? Uh, I'm gonna show you some coyotes that we recorded. All right, we were using it as a handheld, and I forget if it's black or white hot, but one of the coyotes was 50, 75 yards away, the other one was 300, and at 300, you can still tell that it's a coyote, Correction, 200, I'm sorry, 200. There's no reason at all, and our small dog was about 25 yards, there's no reason at all that you couldn't take a 250 yard shot with this thermal scope. I wish I brought the case out so you could see it because it comes in a nice carrying case as well. But absolutely for a the lower end scopes, if you don't want to spend four or 5,000 for the mid scopes or six, seven, eight, 9,000 for the higher end scopes, this is the best lower scope out there. Screw ATN and their everything that they do. Uh, you know, go with go with FLIR is the way I look at it. You know, the next step up is obviously Pulsar in my in my opinion. But 
don't get an ATN, guys. And I'm saying that, don't get an ATN. I had one, all right? At first, I had a good review on it. Uh, now I want to do another one, but I got rid of it on all the problems that I had. This unit right here is a much better unit and at the same price, round about. All right? Give us a like, subscribe, make us a favorite. God, family, country, all in that order. Thanks for watching.